Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick update on uh, the charging system on the 2000. Uh, I followed the uh, directions in my service manual for the engine as far as checking uh, the stator. I was able to find that. Uh, underneath the intake over here, you see that little that bolt there, it's also green, it's like a little box. That is in fact the regulator on this. So you don't actually test the wires here. This is the plug where I have my leads into uh, from my meter. And uh, there's three wires uh, that go to the uh, regulator. And the outer two are the, uh, the wires that come directly from the stator. And the center one is from the battery itself. That gets regular battery voltage. So whatever your battery is, if you were to have it hooked up, and measure that center lead or that center wire in here, which nothing is in right now, uh, you would find that that was your battery voltage. Um, but according to my service manual, you would hook my meter up on AC voltage, which is kind of like that little squiggly line with the letter V. And you can see what I have my leads into here. So basically what it says is you want to measure the voltage across the two leads coming from the stator and they need to be at least 28 volts so we're going to do that i'm going to start it up now i did have this running so it should start easily and you want to get at least 28 volts at full throttle so there you can see I only have it up about half to three quarter. It's already 36. Move it back down to idle here. And it's still, it's still getting numbers, but like I said, you want it at full throttle, you want at least 28 volts. And then, so that, that basically tells us our stator's good. So I'll shut this off. You can see the voltage goes down to nothing. And then, if you want to measure the resistance across uh, both leads of the stator, you just move it down here. This is your ohms reading for resistance. And the bottom one here gives you a sound along with it. So if you're not directly at your meter to look, it'll make a noise saying that there's uh, resistance within the two. So here you can hear that it's 0.3. If you go up, it just takes the there you can see it kind of changed between 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and my meter is telling me, uh, okay, oh, I'm sorry, my manual is telling me that as long as it isn't reading infinite ohms or infinite resistance, it means that your stator is good. And another thing you can do also is if I want to take the black lead out, just leave the red one in and just take that over here to the battery and put it on the negative terminal. That's what it means by infinite amount of resistance. So you shouldn't be able to see any resistance if you're me measuring each of the stator wires individually. So that was that one here. I'll go to this one. And that shows infinite amount of resistance or I guess no resistance really. That's what that means. So in other words, after showing you what I just found out, that means that the stator in this tractor is good and the problem is this little box down here kind of hiding under the intake right here. That's your regulator. So that's actually what's bad on the tractor. So that should get us back up and charging the battery then again. Uh, I had made another video over the weekend previous to this saying that, see if I can dig it out, that maybe this was the problem, that this is a voltage sensor. And I thought that maybe this is what uh, charged the battery, but it turns out it's not, it's just a sensor. That's all it is. I think it's a diode in here is what it is. There's some readings on here. I don't know. Um, so basically what I'm down to now is I gotta find the correct part number for that regulator. Uh, and once I find that, if there's other numbers that are with it that can be interchanged between other tractors, I'll just look for the cheapest one or get it from somebody that I bought from in the past. I like to do that too. So I just wanted to give you that update. So now 
Uh, you guys can see my seder's good. It is working. There's no problem there. There's nothing grounding out. And I'm not getting uh, any charging out of the regulator itself. So if the stator wires are reading over 28 volts AC between the two leads, then that means that I have a, uh, a good stator. So yeah, stator's good, regulator's bad. We're gonna be replacing that sometime in the near future. And uh, hopefully it charges the battery. If it does, then we can move on to continuing to fix this machine and hopefully use it. So, all right guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you later.